cute baby. What's his name? Marvin. From my father. Oh, that's so sweet. Have you two been looking at a lot of places in this neighborhood? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. There yes, there. we have. What? My husband, Emsbury, and I just love this area. Pretending you're married? That's going a little far to prove your point, isn't it? Excuse me, but I think it's offensive to suggest the only reason gay people get married is to prove a point. <laughs> I love your accent. Thank you. I practiced it all morning. <laughs> you are adorable. That Marshall's a lucky man. Why aren't you ducky? <laughs> Seriously, if you were straight, I'd be all over you. Huh. Well, Hemsbury, ready to see what it's like to be with a woman? I suppose there's a first time for everything. <laughs> the sexy British guy in the suit? Never seen him before in my life. Let's just uh, talk about how you're involved with Pablo's murder, OK? I had nothing to do with that. I'm a grifter, not a murderer. I worked my way onto Pablo's jet to steal the necklace. When I left, Pablo was alive. Where's the necklace now? I gave it to the person who hired me to steal it, an independent broker. Who? No idea. But if you agree to give me immunity for liberating that necklace, I can tell you where to find them. It's fine with me. All right, then. Downtown tomorrow night, there's a black market jewelry auction exclusively for the rich and shady. That's where they're planning on reselling the necklace. Now that it's Pablo's last work, I bet the necklace will go for twice as much. <laughs> 